soccer, activities for the children, raffles, and fun food, what do all these have in common? Breaking records and fighting cancer. In Brandon, a group called Team Cure Meso is holding a 70-hour soccer game to raise money for a foundation dedicated to find a cure for mesothelioma. We've been trying to break a record. Uh, we're trying to shoot for, for 70 straight hours of uh, playing soccer. Uh, the world record is 66 hours. Uh, we're doing this in conjunction with one of our teammates who lost his father in 2009 from mesothelioma. HCC professor K.N. Amin and the team have to play non-stop to break the record, sleeping in tents at night, fighting the chilly weather, and working through the pain. I'm having a great time. It's, uh, the nights are the toughest thing. It's freezing cold. It's really tough to get through the evenings. It's exhausting. Just the, the muscle fatigue um, and the soreness, you, you're, it gets to the point, I mean, your legs almost are like jello. You get a numb feeling. This cause hits close to home for James Bard. His father passed away from mesothelioma. It's a form of cancer caused by exposure to asbestos. It's actually a cancer that you don't really show symptoms for 40, 50 years. Um, it's my dad was exposed to asbestos during Vietnam. His connection being his father is not the only reason he put together this soccer game, but to bring awareness to his community. There's so many people out there that had been exposed to asbestos and it's, it's an ugly cancer. Team Cure Meso will take all proceeds from sponsors, donations, and money raised from activities at the park and give it to a foundation for Meso with the hopes of a cure. In Brandon, Maria Caracapa, Hawk TV News. Ah!